What is up guys, Billy Mac here for another adventure. Excuse the hoarseness, apparently ever since I got COVID, I sound like uh, I got a frog stuck in my throat, but we're out here doing it again. We're out here doing a follow-up video to something that I started about 2019. Um, when I first started doing YouTube, I, I lived in this town of Ashley, Rhode Island, and as many of you know, I've since moved. Um, but in this town, that I was trying to find hidden gems, hidden things that make this town kind of fun, interesting. You know, it's a forgotten town here in, in Rhode Island. I found and stumbled upon this memorial park called Briggs Memorial Park. And it's a nice, probably two acre, couple acre lot where there's a river, uh, Ashway River's down the, sh down the bottom of the hill. And I came here to explore and I, what I found being here is that this place became more of a dumping ground. People used to come and dump their trash, leave their stuff behind, and we did a little mini cleanup here. I teamed up with my old man, and him and I explored the rivers, or tried to explore the rivers, and come to find out that there were so many blowdowns across the rivers that people couldn't utilize the rivers. You couldn't kayak, you couldn't fish, you couldn't utilize them. And so many of you, my viewers, told me about back in the 70s how you used to come here and swim, and how you used to do a whole bunch of stuff, fishing, all this other stuff. So, I said in 2019 that I was going to do what I could to help bring this back. And I was going to try to clean at least the river portion of it to get it so we can kayak and utilize it and fish. I got stopped by an organization that said that they were going to come here in 2000, well, the end of 2019 technically now, um, and they were going to help make the park like, beautiful. Put picnic tables, clean a few trees up, clean the rivers up, make it so it's utilized again. They had a funding for it, they were talking to the town, everything was in place, everything was ready to go, and then 2020 came. COVID. COVID came and put everything on a standstill. And I know it sucked. And I think, if I had to guess, I think because of how small this park is, and I'm sure the budget wasn't very, very big, this park got forgotten about. So here I am, 2022. It's June. Let's, uh, let's go see if anything's changed in this park. I have a funny feeling that nothing has changed, and I have a funny feeling the dumping has started again. Let's go explore. What makes this park kind of neat, for me at least, is um, there's like a, a giant horseshoe, like, there's a, like this, all this is wooded, and then you have a huge driveway we can come around, and there's not really any parking. You kind of have to make your own parking, but it's you're on a hill, and we're going to go down that path um, right there, it takes you down to the river. And then it just kind of cliffs over, over the river. I don't know if you can see it. Um, right about there, it kind of just cliffs right over to the river. So down, down that path um, is steep, but it's doable to get down the river. And, and let's see, that's what I hope. I hope that they did what they said they were going to do. Clean out a few trees, maybe put picnic tables, clean out some of the, the trees, and just do what... Well, so we, it can be utilized. I mean, I've said it before and I'll say it again. This river gets stocked every year for trout. You can't fish it if there's a bunch of trees hanging across it. And it looks like the dumping has returned. Son of a gun. It's been there a while. Yeah, unfortunately it looks like the dumping started again. I have a funny feeling, because it's an oil pan, I have a funny feeling that thing's full of oil. I'll do what I can, I'll take what I can when I leave here today, but, damn, pisses me off. Now, I did another video, um, right around 2019-ish, of the park, I kind of did a little update on the park. And, um, it looked like they started doing some, you know, clearing, but I think, I think COVID shut that down real quick. Oh wow. 
okay, all right. Maybe we did do some cleaning. There was used to be a big tree that sat across here, or a big clump of sticks. And there was another couple over here. Looks like this is about ready to fall soon. So, river's low. You can see, um, I don't know if you can see it, that's all mud. Okay. Alright, so some progress has been done. At least now you can kind of like launch a kayak here and go down the river. I don't know how far that way they cleared, but it's somewhat doable. And, and if this has been cleared out, I'm bringing a kayak down. Maybe me and Dad can go down here and kayak. I mean, overall, like, at one time, there was a huge pile of trash that was sitting here. It's, ever since I cleaned it up, I haven't seen it since. I think this is going to be a forever thing here. This was a piece of sheetrock. Pieces of sheetrock someone dumped. And because of the weather getting to it, breaking it down, it has just become a natural point of the path. Huh. Looks like an otter trail. Otter or beaver trail through here. Probably a beaver. Uh, huh. Alright, so it's not perfect. I don't know if you can see that tree still down across the river. But at least you could put a kayak in here if you had to to shimmy up. Let's let's check this point. Well, kind of-ish bad news. They haven't cleared, like this is all supposed to be cleared out and they're going to like, not cleared out like they're going to get rid of all the trees, but they're going to make it so that they put picnic tables and, you know, make it so that it was supposed to be uh, a seating area, but it looks like it hasn't been touched in a while. Some of this has been cleared down. At least we're fishing. So there's still a tree across the river here. The big one. Um, I wonder if that's something that we could maybe address one day. Still got the, well. See that stick there? That's not too too bad. It's when you got ow. It's when you got like this giant tree here. There's a tree there, and it looks like that tree's growing off a of, uh, this tree here. Sorry, that tree there growing off a of rock. Then you have this tree across it that probably they probably didn't want to touch it because it's probably got so much life on it. So I mean that is a plus. Some work has been done. And some of this does look a little clearer than the last time I was here. 
What do we got over here? Wow, that's some dirty... Looks like a bunch of... Uh, looks like a bunch of pollen. Maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe they're not going to do this area too, too much because of the amount of big boulders that are there. Interesting. All right, we're gonna try to do what we can taking this trash out of here. If this oil container is full, I'm not taking it. Just because I don't want oil dripping all over my car. But I'll make a day to come back and, and take care of it. Probably should have gloves on. <laughs> yeah, there's liquid in that. I'm not. I'm not gonna take that. I'm gonna come back. We can drain the, the oil out of it. And take it down to the dump. But got a bag full of. Miscellaneous trash. I always cycle all that. I'll get rid of <clears throat> this piece of bucket handle and this piece of metal. But I'll come back for that at a later date and pick that up. <clears throat> Alright, back down here at Wellstown, the first spot I ever went magnet fishing. And it continues. People are dumping. Although, in all fairness, it's probably. A lost muffler off a car. Beer cans. This area, when we kayaked it, uh, my dad and I, we found a huge dumping ground upriver, which I'm going to try to go explore again. No, I can't see anything. I have pulled out of here a car bumper, um, a, bump, uh, a car bumper, a computer, an Apple computer to be exact, a payphone, our old payphone booth out of here. I might have to bring the magnet out one of these days and see if the dumping has continued here on the old Ashway River. We're probably going to put the kayak in down here, you know, put it right there. Put it in, because down river there's a big pond, beautiful, a lot of fish in there. Like I said, it doesn't get touched too often, but they do stock this pond with trout, so at least once a year, so. I know there's beavers in here. Oh, yeah, huh? Oh, it's a stick. Thought that was a bike frame. So, overall, I don't know the dumping situation in the river, I can't see it. Oh, there's a turtle over there swimming. I don't know if you can see him. Um... So I don't know if the dumping situation here has gotten better or worse. Um, I do, like I said, I do know upriver there's a huge dumping spot that when my dad and I were here, we just, we were so overwhelmed. We did what we could, but it's going to be days worth of cleanup. Overall, a lot of the stuff, on, I used to find beer cans galore up this bank, nips galore up and down this bank. 
I haven't seen any in a while. Um, the only thing I really see, and maybe people, other people are doing this, is this, this muffler here. And the, don't I just see a beer can? Yeah. This is all I really see, this beer can. And this piece of exhaust. Hey guys, so as you can tell, we're back here at the household. Um, I have every right right now to be annoyed. I want to try to do what I can to PG my frustrations, but I, I, I can't believe what just happened. And by the way, if you, that couple, whoever you are, watch my videos, thanks for being a jerk. Just putting that out there. While I was down at, at, at uh, the Ashway River down at Wallstone Road, I was obviously trying to do an out, outro, and um, I think I'll probably put some of that in, in this at the end of all this. And a car pulled up. Now, again, I thought maybe they were there for a quick second, maybe do some fishing, just kind of do their thing and go. And I, I was going to wait until they finished to do my outro. And um, there was a guy and a girl, and a, and a they were young, in, in a 1990-something uh, Nissan sedan or whatever and while I was there waiting for them to either go fishing or go do their thing and maybe leave I decided to just kind of mosey around the area a little bit more looking for other things to pick up you know and, and I found um, a wine bottle um, a few other things you know nothing nothing too fancy but I found a few extra things just to get rid of pick up you know and while I had my back turned to them they decided it was appropriate because they saw someone picking up trash off the side of the road to dump a bag of nips on the side of the road and screw it. Luckily, only a couple fell out of the bag. I picked them up, put them in my car. But you know what I'm doing. You see what I'm doing. You see me picking up trash off the road. And what do you do? You know, you could have came to me and be like, hey, are you collecting these uh, maybe to, um, for a you know, a, a bottle return thing, or, or are you doing, uh, no, 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 you just see a guy picking up trash, have no courtesy whatsoever, dump your bag of nymphs, and take off. And you want to know why I'm a little annoyed? So, I went to the police station after seeing what I saw, and I t told them the license plate, I told them the car, um, I told them what happened, and I get the police station, I, I get the officer's uh, answer. You know, unfortunately, unless you have evidence or proof of it, they can't do nothing about it. And I get it. I truly get it. Um, but still, that's just... That is some way... She, that's someone spitting in my face. Hey, I see you picking up things. Hey, by the way, let's dump this and run. So I got a bag... I'm adding to the recycling bin. Because two 20 something year old kids can't be adults. Anyways, uh, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to this channel. If you, um, like this video. Also, um, if you are in the Southern Rhode Island area, Ashaway, Cherahoe District, and you want to go check out Briggs Park, I recommend you do. Bring a fishing pole, bring your friends, bring your family. It's a lot of fun. If you're into magnet fishing, go check out that bridge on the Ashaway River uh, over at Wellstone Road. That's where I got my start, my love for magnet fishing, and clearly, people are still dumping there. Sad. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Yeah, some of this is my stuff, like the water bottles and stuff. But... This is what gets things banned. I'm just saying. This is what you know. This is why people are trying to get a a, a knit ban in the state because you do stupid stuff like that. I'm sorry. Jesus.